What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the on over ear noise cancelling headphones I picked up at Walmart for $49.88. Out of five stars these noise cancelling headphones get four out of five out of 87 customer reviews. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions to find out if these headphones are any good at $49.88. Upon first impressions, you might think at that price point, these probably aren't that great. The build quality might be off, the sound quality might be off, but as you might remember from about a few months ago when I did review the On Wireless Earbuds for $25, they ended up sounding pretty good and ended up being one of my most popular videos accumulating over about 15,000, close to 16,000 views. They did receive a pretty positive reception and to this day I still think they're actually pretty good at $25. Without further ado, today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions. What's really awesome about these headphones is even though they only cost 50 bucks, they do come with some pretty modern and interesting features. Apparently they have a built-in touch panel for adjusting the volume and switching between tracks. They also have a transparency mode and of course active noise cancellation. So also one thing I want to point out which you might notice is this t-shirt I'm wearing. I actually did decide to open up a merchandise store. I came up with this idea for t-shirts, coffee mugs, bumper stickers, fridge magnets, and pretty much anything else you can think of. I think I even have beach towels on the website, but if you want to get behind a good cause and inspire other people, definitely check out this website and maybe pick up a t-shirt and support the channel. It's all about being good and doing good. These t-shirts I think are about $20. I don't have inventory yet, but if you do go onto the website and order one, I will go to the store where I purchased this t-shirt and have it made and then send it to you. Without further ado, go ahead and check out my website and let's go ahead and get into this unboxing and first impressions to find out if these headphones are any good. So here in front of us today, we have the On Wireless headphones with active noise cancellation and transparency mode. The one biggest feature I am actually most interested in finding out about is that touch panel on the side of the headphones that allows you to adjust the volume and switch between tracks. I've pretty much had plenty of experience using active noise cancellation and transparency mode on other headphones, but I'm interested to see how the touch panel will work on a pair of $50 headphones. Not even the Apple AirPods Max have a touch panel. They are button operated only. As you can see, if we just flip the box around, you get the on logo on the side of the box here. On the back of the box, you do get a basic rundown of the specifications. As you can see here, it comes right out of the box here. This actually sort of reminds me of a case by Beats by Dr. Dre. When I had the Beats by Dr. Dre a few years ago, it was sort of a pleather material with a little bit of plastic. And then what else we get in the box is a quick start guide. This will pretty much go over everything you need in order to get started. It will make pretty much clear how to exactly use the headphones. It will probably also go over the touch panel here. You're getting a lot here for 50 bucks. You get the headphones on top. As you can see, they are that foldable, collapsible design. And then last but not least, most importantly, if you're interested in using a three and a half millimeter headphone jack with these headphones for a more streamlined inline connection, you do get that option in the box. This is a pretty nice carrying case actually. It's kind of a hard pleather material. It's like a pleather wrapped plastic shell almost. And then you get a pretty nice zipper. And even though they were only 50 bucks, this is a really welcomed addition. Usually at this price point, you get just like a little drawstring bag. As you pretty much saw there, they open up really nice and quietly and confidently. There's no creaking or cracking. As you can see, I'm actually pulling them apart here at the headband. They feel pretty sturdy and robust. Uh, one thing you'll also notice is on either side of the head cup there, you're not going to get an on logo, nor are you going to get an on logo at the headband. These are a pretty stealth, low profile pair of headphones. One thing I will complain about are the drivers or the ear cups themselves are maybe just a little bit on the thicker side, but 
There is a microphone port at the bottom of the ear cup here. You do get a micro USB charging port. You do get that three and a half millimeter inline port. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, you do get the power port there or the power button, excuse me. And then you get the active noise cancellation and transparency mode buttons on the back of the ear cup. So really it should just be as easy as reaching behind your ear on your right side and adjusting active noise cancellation or transparency mode or uh, messing around with that three and a half millimeter headphone jack. Okay guys, so I've got the headphones on my head. They're pretty comfortable. One thing I actually do like about the design of these headphones is no, they're not metal or anodized aluminum like the AirPods Max, but they are much lighter and they don't feel like they're falling off my head like the AirPods Max, which believe it or not is actually extremely irritating and aggravating and actually kind of discomforting. Even though one thing I dislike about these headphones is that the circumference of the ear cups is just a little bit on the smaller side. I do wish they were a little bit larger in diameter. These are for the most part pretty comfortable. As you can see, they look pretty good. Uh, they're just a plain black pair of over the ear headphones. There's no branding, which is awesome about these headphones. Okay, so now that I've pretty much gone over the basics here, let's go ahead and listen to some music. I'm going to adjust the preamp and mess around with some EQ settings and I'm gonna pretty much fill you in on just how well these handle all that. Okay guys, so the verdict is pretty much in with these headphones. First thing is first, they are pretty comfortable. I think you should pretty much be able to wear these for a few hours and them not bother you. Uh, just like any other pair of headphones, like I did say earlier, the circumference of the ear cups could be just a little bit bigger. Then again, maybe I have big ears, but for the most part, they're pretty comfortable. And because they are over the ear, you should get some noise isolation benefits with them. So maybe you don't necessarily have to use them with the active noise cancellation mode turned on. That would in turn actually increase your battery life anyway. But the active noise cancellation is pretty good paired with your music at past half volume, you should pretty much be able to block out most ambient noises or outside noises actually. Uh, the transparency mode is pretty interesting. It really doesn't respond to snaps or claps or bangs, but what I did notice is I think it actually takes advantage of the outside microphone because when you actually turn on transparency mode, you can hear your voice through the earphones themselves. Like I said, if you're sitting at your bus stop or at a train stop or in the airport terminal, you will definitely be able to hear valuable information with transparency mode turned on. Okay, so now to sound quality. As you did see, I was messing around with the EQ settings a little bit. I had it on a flat EQ setting, a bass booster, a bass reducer, and I even was listening to a little bit of Chopin. Uh, I had him set at a jazz EQ setting. As usual with these headphones, or any type of headphone really, a flat EQ setting is going to be the most well-rounded EQ setting. It's gonna bring the volume up just a little bit and make everything sound just a little bit fuller and richer and intact. The bass booster, on the other hand, is gonna bring up the bass and kind of drown out the music a little bit. Even though I did not really have that issue with these headphones and bass booster EQ, uh, it did bring up the bass, but it didn't really drown out the rest of the music, which I thought was pretty interesting. Uh, I had bass reducer on, which I really didn't notice that big of a difference between flat and bass reducer. So maybe that is just saying a little bit about the sound range of these headphones. It might not be as dynamic or as wide as some other headphones out there. They are loud, they are clear, but one thing I wanna point out is if you do listen to these at their max volume, you're going to get some distortion. Uh, the sound is gonna kind of break up a little bit. It's still going to be loud and crystal clear, but like I said, it's gonna be just a little bit distorted. Uh, it's gonna sound a little bit echoey maybe, or just a little bit staticky. Not quite sure exactly how to explain it, but also another thing I wanted to point out was I was able to get the preamp up on these headphones. Uh, I know you're not going to have that luxury. Uh, this is just a setting you can adjust on the computer. Uh, but just to give you a good idea of how well these handle heavy bass, uh, you definitely notice a difference from a flat 
preamp setting or a setting of zero. And then if you actually move the needle up to about 10 or 12, uh, you do notice a difference. The music does get a little bit louder. The bass does rattle just a little bit more, but uh, it's not as prominent as say on the AirPods Max, for example, where I was getting phenomenal results with the preamp turned up. I was getting a really cool listening experience. You can fast forward to skip a song or uh, swipe back to replay a song or start a song over. Or if you're listening to an album, go to the previous track. Two taps to play or pause a song or to answer a phone call. I think it's three taps to activate the voice assistant or maybe you hold it down. I can't quite remember, but uh, it's extremely responsive and easy to use. You can also swipe up to turn the volume up and swipe down to turn the volume down. Like I said, it's actually extremely responsive and intuitive to use. It is really nice. And the touch panel itself actually is the entire right side of the ear cup here. So it's not just designated to a small uh, section on the ear cup itself. It's this whole panel on the side. So out of five stars, these get four out of five out of 87 customer reviews. Uh, like I did say, they are really loud, they are clear, they do handle the preamp being turned up a little bit and they do get a little bit louder, which is nice, which is noticeable, but you're going to get some distortion. So maybe listen to them at 75%. And last but not least, what you're going to love about these headphones are the touch controls on the right side of the ear cup. They are super easy and intuitive and very well laid out. They work very well. I would say they work 100% of the time. And last but not least, no branding whatsoever. They're just a nice, black, sleek, minimalist pair of headphones. Anyways, guys, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video. I really hope you enjoyed that unboxing and first impressions. If you wanna see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe. Once again, because I did pick these up at Walmart, that does make them a big box good. My name is John, thanks again so much for tuning in. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my merch store. I will see you in the next one.